Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails, a Grand Arena story. Uh, we're in the start of week four, guys. We're in a Rhodium uh, League. This is crazy. Uh, it's, the, it's the hardest week, and uh, my opponent was ready for me. He knew who I was. He could do research, um, and so it's going to be a little bit of a crazy match. Uh, I have a big advantage in Galactic Legends. He only has one. He has Kylo. I have both of mine, uh, but... As you'll see, uh, my opponent has a lot of has, a, has an extremely versatile roster, and um, like for instance, he has all of his bounty hunters relic, which may sound like a poor choice, but bounty hunters are honestly really, really good now. Um, so, anyways, guys, uh, he also has all the new characters, like he has a, a relic something uh, Mothma, he has relic five or six or seven Chupio, all of this stuff. Um, and I actually, small spoiler, guys, um, I, I run into a Chupio squad, and it's the full decked out crazy squad. Um, it, it's and it's a really good squad uh, on defense. So, um, you know, I have my own Chupio. I actually mini wailed for it myself. So, um, uh, but but that's on defense, and uh, my my opponent uh, has him on defense, and. It kind of surprised me, uh, and so what What I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of my different fights, just kind of rapid fire, like you're just going to be seeing one fight after another after another, uh, and uh, once we get to the Chupio fight, which is toward the end, I'm going to just let it go uh, from the point where I start really trying to problem solve it and really trying to figure out what makes that squad tick, because I think a lot of that discussion is pretty relevant and pretty... Uh, pretty strong in terms of like what can we do to counter this squad which is all of a sudden just really really good so um, I'm not saying that I have all the answers but I think that it at least can start the discussion a little bit and I hope you enjoy the episode just a quick shout out to my patrons guys I really really appreciate all the things that you do all the support you guys are amazing and yeah, I mean seriously guys uh, it truly means the world to me, so thank you so much for the support. Okay, so here is my bottom zone, and you can see that my opponent attacked it uh, fairly early, and that's just because uh, he normally attacks pretty late in the cycle, actually, so uh, he knew I was going to be streaming, though, and so he attacked earlier, and I really appreciate it when people do that, frankly, guys. Um, really, really do appreciate it. So, um, I, these squads are just here to, and they're designed to t kind of siphon off the teams that I thought maybe he would want to use um, in the back, and you'll see the back in a minute. Now, I do have my own Commander Luke with Chupio, which that actually presented some problems when it came to his defenses. Uh, namely, there's a General Skywalker squad in the front zone. Um, and you'll see, if I don't really have the best option for it, so. All right, and now you can see my back zone. I have Supreme Leader Kylo. I have Darth Revan, the full bastard version. And um, uh, honestly, I put that there because my opponent asked me uh, to put Darth Revan down because he wanted to test something. And maybe it was a momentary instant of insanity. Maybe it was me just having a moment of humanity and caring about how other players interact with the game um and maybe i was just totally a dupe um just totally totally got duped i don't i don't really know but one way or another guys i did place that darth revan squad down um and uh, yeah my defenses are pretty strong I, I put a lot of meta teams down but my opponent had traditionally kept a lot of squads for offense so the question was, could he clear all of them and efficiently? Because traditionally, he did not put a lot on defense, though he does switch his defenses up every single round, which is awesome and really hard to do. So congratulations to my opponent. Uh, that's that's pretty tough. So uh, I did make kind of a mistake. I deleted already the clip where I show the my opponent's front line. And so uh, what he has up front is... Uh, just a grievous squad with Newt, which means I can't use uh, Night Sisters on it. And he also has a General Skywalker team with full 501st. And that, that presents some issues for me. 
and uh, you'll kind of see it unfold in a little bit. Uh, General Skywalker is one of the few counters to Chupio, and you might guess what's in the back. I don't know. Um, I, <laughs> I already discussed it and told you guys what I'd be facing. So uh, you guys can see how it all unfolds. I'm just going to let it unfold, as I said. B1 is not actually that fast. Oh, yeah, Shock T is uh, first, though. So let's actually um, let's hide. Anakin get a tiny bit of damage here um, now the question is do I put these ball these buffs up right now I think I save these buffs because this will call Ahsoka to assist and when that happens um, then um, B2 might get triggered and might dispel everything so, I think we just want to do the basic here. That'll give everyone a stack of courage, and we can move on. And then, once they get all the debuffs on us, we can cleanse them all for stacks. I think that's what we want to do. Okay, so B2 did get triggered. And now we've got all the debuffs on people. Excellent. Okay, so can dispel Magna Guard, and he'll just get it back. Um, yeah, let's see. I could dig, I could get some stacks here. B2 will trigger, of course. Pay that extortion, and we get the dispel. Ah, and of course, Magna Guard gets another turn. This is concerning, folks. We're not getting enough turns here. Okay. Well, we don't have much choice. We need to heal at the very least. We got some stacks. Ugh, now they're all gone. They're all gone. All right. Uh, let's send Anakin here. Um, we'll get a big hit, hopefully. Let's see. Let's get this. Ahsoka gets another hit. Got the dispel there. Let's do a mass assist. Hopefully take out this B2. There we go. There we go. Alright. Anakin's not doing great here. Um hopefully we can get some healing going or something. Get some get something going, folks. Alright, they're hitting GK. That's good. It's for the best. Pay off that extortion. Let's see, we'll have the mass assist here. Oh wow, Anakin actually tanked one, that was sweet. That was quite epic of you, Anakin. They can't dispel us. All right, we, I, I hesitate to say things like we're in the clear, but um, we're in a better situation here. This This match always makes me feel so nervous. Alright, so just annihilate that uh, Magna Guard. And now, let's see, Shock T. We can get some damage on Grievous, but that, don't, that won't do anything. Let's just send someone else. We'll send Anakin, I guess, because that heals him a little bit. Get that extortion paid. Alright, kill B1. Um, now we can attack Grievous. He's not going to force the taunt anymore. We can get the stun on Grievous here. And, alright, got Grievous, <laughs> got Newt for one, hope we can get a heal here, dang it, I was hoping Padme had it, um, <laughs> ugly, ugly, ugly banners, but we did get through at least in one shot, so, it's hoping for 55, I had nice sisters, but Newt makes it a little too dicey. I have no idea whose Rex is faster, but we're just gonna go for it anyways. I never cared about it before, so why, sh why should it matter now? We'll see if my Skywalker drops super fast. That's that's the big question in my mind. He doesn't have nearly as much protection as he used to have. So. Maybe we just drop each other. Oh, look at that, I dropped him first. Oh, and then he dropped. Okay, so basically at the same time. 
Okay, gotta kill fives now. This looks like it's gonna be a dirty fives to take out, though, unfortunately. Alright. I don't know if we can actually do it on this first uh, go around. Uh oh. Alright, well, fives is gone. Okay, but my Rex stood up. Excellent. Oh, look at that. There's Skywalker dropped super fast there. Alright. Who just don't kill their Rex, please. Please, please, please. Okay, got their fives. Now let's take out Rex. I guess we can throw this. Okay, Rex is gone. I think this timing is good. I could be wrong. It seems like it's good, though. Um, let's see. Might be bad, actually. I have a feeling Rex is just going to get taken out hard, is what my guess is. Why don't I just kill Echo with this? Because I think I can kill Skywalker otherwise. Yeah, Baka with the gifted sub. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, th I think I'm just gonna kill him, because Skywalker, yeah. Alright, so goodbye to Rex. I hardly knew the... Gosh, these clones are gonna take a while here. Gotta get my own Skywalker standing up. So they're proving slightly more resilient than I would have guessed. Oh, they killed him before my mine stood up with full protection though, guys. <laughs> Fifty though. Oh, my opponent's gonna have a one point lead. No. <laughs> oh man, that's such a weird twist. Oh, Dairon Ranger, is that um? You're you're my opponent. Your Iron Ranger. Oh, he's got his own Chupio back here. Ooh, that is going to be super interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen now. Hmm. Ooh, that is super interesting. Good idea. I makes me sad. I was wondering why he put General Skywalker there. Good idea. <laughs> Okay, right, so if we want to get that taunt first. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do set everyone on fire, even though Nest will hit back. And now we can shoot Captain Han a little bit. Wow, look at all those numbers. Um, let's actually just try to execute him right now. I don't know if that'll quite do it. I do have offense up, though. He's got some debuffs. Got him. All right get that ability blocked up on a few of them at least it worked get the taunt again nice disintegrate already boom goodbye to you nest um let's do this because i'm doing extra death wow did you see how fast that just plowed her down that was nice um Let's see. Let's reduce max health on Zalbar. Or, yeah, we did. We did reduce. Um, let's dispel, though, because his uh, hits are getting annoying. Let's call Django to assist, I guess. We'll dispel here. Oh, I thought that's a cleanse. I'm still getting used to the grief, uh, to the grief abilities. Let's get that healing immunity on um, Han. All right. Let's just see if we can take him out. Not negative. We can't try to reduce his max health. Yep. But we should just be okay because Mando will have that. Uh, we'll have that execute up soon. All 
All right, cool. Got a 60 with the bounty hunters. I was pretty sure that would work, team. So that, that's what we'll do. Let's do first order, full first order here. Let's jump in. Belpu, dude, my opponents never attack first. My opponents never attack first, it feels like. Makes me sad. Alright, so let's give the turn to Kylo here. They don't have a ton of hitting me back power right now, so I can do my AoE without much risk. Um, oh, he doesn't have a pre-taunt here. I didn't notice that he didn't have all the Zetas. Let's see. Who do I stun? Because I don't have a cleanse here either. I'm almost I'm almost thinking we stun Executioner. Um Though, maybe we just stun Kylo so he doesn't taunt for a while. I think maybe that's the move. I think that's the play. Let's uh, steal turn meter from Executioner. Oh, I should have done that to Phasma here. Let's stun Phasma if we can. Alright, got the stun. Let's see if we can just get the kill now. Not not so much the kill. Um, we did get a counter on him, though. Oh, the first move of that guy is an AoE. Cool. Didn't know that. Okay, let's just see. Good, that took him out. Um, let's get Tenacity down on this Kylo here. Um, I don't want to do an AoE yet. We'll just do a basic. Try to get a kill chain going. Oh, so close. Alright. We can do another AoE. Got, got Phasma. Okay, let's see if we can get this stun here on Kylo. Perfect. And let's see. Who do we who can we heal up to get more banners? Yeah, that, that'll be good. Let's re re-stun this guy. Just keep him down if, if we can. Let's get a big hit to get my protection back up. Can do an AoE now because it's cool looking. Um, hopefully we can get Kylo. Uh, one more stack here. And one more bar of protection. That would be great. So we're just going to bide our time here. Hopefully we don't get a kill. Here we go. That should heal him. Oh, this should at least. Okay, we got it. Now we can go ham, I think. Though really, let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to stretch it out too much longer, frankly. Maybe though, let's see. Maybe we can get Executioner. Nah, he's just going to get the kill. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's do an AoE that won't be that effective. Just want to heal Executioner if we can. Yeah, oh, this will just end it. Ah, oh, 58. That's pretty good. 58 I'm good with. Maybe Executioner actually healed a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, Bator says, Fox doesn't bite his time. You're right. <laughs> Fox is like, I'll just end it now. <laughs> he's he's like episode two Anakin. Okay, so we want to give this to Vader right away. Ooh, Droidica is fast. Dang, I did not realize. I should have checked Droidica's speed. That is scary. All right, let's do this. So this will probably kill Dooku regardless, I'm pretty sure. Let's just see. Got him. Okay. So let's see. Culling Blade doesn't dispel, though, does it? Oh, it doesn't dispel or cleanse deba or buffs. Yeah, so it can't kill Droidica this way. May as well just use this on him, then. I kind of want to just Culling Blade spy, actually. But, but no, the Brood Elf is the guy to hit, I think, actually. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Sunfac. Yeah, so we want to do it on Sunfac. Then we can get a hopefully a big hit on Spy as well. We'll see. Alright. Let's see if this does it to the Alpha here. Got him. And Spy is gone. Perfect. Tell you what. I want to... 
gosh, this guy scares me so much. He's gonna, he's just gonna go nuts. Look at his, uh, look at his thing. I, I'm gonna, I don't have another dispel here though. I think I want to swap here. Let's see. Who do I swap it with though? Palpatine? Create immunity on Shore. Oh, that's a good idea, because Droidica is going to go anyways, and Shore has full turn meter. Alright, let's do that. I mean, create immunity won't do anything, really, but uh, to against that Droidica's madness. Oh, goodbye, Palpatine. Damn it all. Alright, well, so be it. I thought that was... Oh, because uh, Sunfac dispelled, that's what happened. I wanted Shore to taunt, though. That's the thing. I wanted him to taunt again. Okay, so. Um, we'll put the taunting tech on Shore, I guess. Now maybe that's what I should have done. I should have passed the turn to Shore, or to Watt. He could have. Oh, well. So be it. Well, let's see. Okay, now we can fracture Droidica. This should just kill him, and it can't miss. Alright. Not the best banners, but I'll take it. 56 we can live with, perhaps. <laughs> Meow Baka says, Dang, Droidica, that man had a family. <laughs> That's super funny. Oh, and there's a Star Destroyer in the back. Interesting. Got Thrawn with the TIE Bomber. Interesting. I've never fought the TIE Bomber. Yeah, the AI won't kill Nest, probably. Unless they can one-shot her, which she's, she's Relic 7. So, we'll see. We'll see if this works. Let's try it, shall we? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Telomad is right about that. She didn't use her mind trick first. Okay, so they got a lot of turns. They don't even have foresight. Oh, they have foresight on her. It's okay. But we got cooldowns reduced. Yikes. Don't do that to Nihilus anymore, please. Get some dispel going. Yep, hit, hit. Scion. Let's he's the guy to hit, please. Let's see. Let's hit this guy, just because his health is low. Whoa, don't hit Scion. Discontinue hitting Scion. Yikes. Okay, goodbye to Scion, but goodbye to their fin at least. Okay. Let's get the Isolate going here. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can do this here. Hmm. Well, let's see. I guess this doesn't miss. We could maybe land. Oh! <laughs> that was kind of cool. <laughs> Just curb stomped that both of those guys. Alright, we can we can kill L3 here. Not great banners. Poor old uh, Scion paid the price, man. The ultimate price. F in the chat for Scion, man. <laughs> we'll see if we can actually kill her the normal way. Oof, terrible banners. Terrible efficiency, guys. So, here's the thing, guys. This team gets a so much turn meter. I need some mechanic to actually, like, give me a turn at all before I just get completely blown away. So the so Master FX, my my CLS team had a moment of vulnerability actually of like it was close. Um 
It was pretty close, with, with this exact team taking out a Relic Knight Sister team. It was it was a close fight. Um, but that being said, it, it ended up it didn't it didn't pan out, but it was it's closer than it could have been for sure. Yeah, so Jedi Knight Luke lead might might be the thing. Thing is, if they kill if they kill Revan first, so who, who do we even take with with this squad if we do this? I think Luke is probably the right thing. The thing is, if I can get it to the point where I'm hitting them back, like if I'm countering them, then I, I'm I'm good to go. So Bastila Lead Jedi was another thing I was thinking of. The fastest remaining Jedi would be my Hermit Yoda. So we could do something. I could do this. We could have Joe Lee to help us maybe avoid all of the met like if he can rev get a timely revive that might help yeah so hermit starts in stealth that's true so he would be able to summon everyone at least If Chupio dispels, they can hit him. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Chupio will go. He'll he'll definitely dispel. But it's like if I bring Luke though, then we. I mean, Yoda just dies so easy. Like one volley, and he just dies. Then again, if he dies, then how does it work with Savior? What does it do? First time another Jedi ally would be reduced to 1% health if Revan is active. Let's see. And they take a bonus turn, so for sure. I mean, maybe we do have Grandmaster Yoda in here. So if he he takes a hit, he immediately gets a bonus turn. He can summon everyone for Jedi's will. I think maybe this works. Maybe. Scary man. I mean, another option also would be to bring old Ben. If he dies, if he keels over at some point, then I can uh, I can do some things. I can make some things happen, potentially. What do you guys think of this team? I, I feel like this team might be the best chance. Though if they kill Revan... First, that the, the biggest reservation for me is if they kill Revan first, he doesn't have savior, and then I just lose that ability completely. Yeah, with Jedi Knight Revan lead, I mean, it, it might work. The, here's the thing, I want, if, if someone, if Yoda does just die, if he keels over, then immediately I get the the event special ability from Luke, and that then I'm good. Yeah, I think maybe, guys. I think maybe you're right. People are saying, like, maybe the, uh, I can reduce their speed. It doesn't matter. They're, they're not a speed team. They're a I gain all the turn meter ever team. I think maybe this is the right, the right call, guys. And we just hope that, yeah, because, because if, if Jedi Knight Revan gets killed, he will, uh, he'll, he'll get a turn, he can pass the turn immediately to one of these guys, and then they can go, they can send Luke in. I'll get a chain of turns, at least. Uh, and Joe Lee, he's not guaranteed to not die first, but, like, at the very least, he could send Grandmaster Yoda to assist and maybe give him enough turn meter to go first. 
With Jedi Knight Revan lead, I'll get the second turn. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, man. We will see. Let's try this, guys. I think this is the team. This is the team for the job. Going in. Okay, so, <laughs> so they did pass the turn. So now we give the turn, I think, to Grandmaster Yoda, is what I think we do. What does this do? This just swaps turn meter? Is that entire... swap turn meter. So I have 100% turn meter, these guys don't. I should just get in the next turn. Oh no, I want to give it to Luke so it can stun some people. I mean, I can't stun these two guys, but I can stun everyone else. It might give me enough time to take out Chewie. Oh yeah, and they're not going to shoot me back, you're right. So if I give this to Luke, then we stun all the people. Well, some of them. Okay, now we want to focus fire on Chewie right now. Got to get him out if we can. Alright, let's see. I think we want to train Luke. I think that's who we want to hit. Okay, so he can... Let's see, what is... Does this dispel anything? I don't remember. So this actually gives them blind. Oh, I can't hit anyone else anyways. I mean, if we do this to Yoda, he'll go... Yeah, he'll get a bonus. He'll get a turn, because... Oh, never mind. He didn't get a turn. Oh, yeah. We killed Chewie, though. That's, that's a good sign. Okay. So no more guard on these guys. Um, let's put up foresight for now. Dear Lord, they are just hitting so much, aren't they? Um, so we have him send Yoda to go, because he'll gain turn meter from this. Okay. And now let's try to knock down turn meter on Chupio, I think. <laughs> by killing him. Cool. Okay, so we're... I'm not saying we're out of out of it yet, but... <laughs> uh, Commander Luke certainly is, eh? <laughs> and so is Han. And I couldn't revive! Oh! <laughs> Luke, what are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, that was really sad. All right, well, dear Lord, that was that was kind of funny. <laughs> I won't lie, that was a little bit funny. Everyone likes basket parties. <laughs> True. True. Okay, so let's see. Turn meter wise, my so I'm gonna go before the tie bomber one way or another. I think we want. Uh, I think we want him to not be able to taunt, though. Let's see. Because he will, because this guy's going to go. I'm not going to be able to kill Vader right away. So we, wanted, uh, we want this to, we want to be able to get the buff immunity up. Okay. So now they'll shoot Houndstooth. Let's see if we can just take out Vader here. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's see if we can focus down Kylo. Awesome. All right, trying to take down my uh, banners here, unfortunately. Get Plo in, try to try to get some banners back. I actually don't know if I can kill this guy in time, but we're gonna try, damn it all. Got the shuttle who heals all the things, yuck. Okay, we got the bomber. So even six star bombers kind of thick though, huh? See so if we can kill the shuttle here. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm 
to seeing if one of these can miss or not. I forget. Doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, well, we got the 67 here at least. <laughs> wow, so full clear, guys. <laughs> Alright, wow. So that is it for uh, my actual attacks. And uh, the here's, here's the narrative that, that was kind of discussed. I, I chopped this video down quite a bit so um, so that it was actually viewable by people. Um, and, and the narrative, though, is, was uh, could he kill my full bastard Darth Revan with his bounty hunters? Uh, my Darth Revan is pretty quick, 342 speed. Uh, and it, it, even though he had invested in his bounty hunters quite a bit, I thought that Bosk bounty hunters probably would struggle. Uh, but he had them all pretty well reliced and pretty well modded, so uh, he thought he could do it. He was felt pretty confident. He has actually since shown me a video of it working pretty well. Um, so let's see what actually happens here. So the question was, could he kill my Darth Revan with his bounty hunters? And the answer was, no. He couldn't. I uh, said that he was pretty close. He got pretty close, um, and I'll probably eventually show the footage. He actually took a bunch of video. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it quite yet, but uh, he didn't clear my Darth Revan. He did clear all my other squads in one shot. I do want to point out that uh, math-wise, even if he had killed my Darth Revan in one hit for 60 banners, I still would have won. Uh, not by many banners at all. Um, I think it's by like two banners, but I still would have won, uh, even if he had, so that that's good to know. But uh, the fact is, Bounty Hunters are kind of coming back, guys. I think we need to start paying attention to them. And honestly, what's more, I think we need to start paying attention to the Commander Luke team with Chupio. I think Chupio is going to make that team super duper relevant, um, which is interesting. I don't know what direction it's going to take, considering we're getting two new Galactic Legends, and soon enough, at the top levels at least, we're going to just be totally dominated by Galactic Legends. It'll be quite the spectacle. I don't necessarily look forward to it, but I do not. I, I also do not know how Commander Luke is going to fit into all of that. I, it's, it's a mystery. We're going to find out together. I'm excited kind of uh kind of nervous but anyways guys i'm gonna let you go here thank you all so much for watching and remember that in all things zareth prevails <laughs>